Now, welcome back to Odd Socks. Now, we do have a little bit of a surprise, which is the reason why I wanted to put this video out today. Now, I had a fantastically filmed footage of what this surprise was. It was, I'd spent a lot of time and a lot of effort on the actual filming, but unfortunately, my mic failed. So all the footage on the day that I'd actually filmed had no sound whatsoever, which was really, really disappointing. So today we went on a little journey to Colesville. We wanted to go and pick up a very special package today. So after journeying up the motorway, stuck in traffic, but going past some really nice views here and there, we managed to find the company we were looking for. Now, we came across this company by a recommendation. We were so impressed with how the business operates. Now, this company is called New Cottage Poultry. And you guessed it, it sells poultry. Originally, I only wanted four chicks and then I moved it up to six chicks because we could comfortably fit these six chicks in our setup. But in the back of my head, I actually wanted eight chicks, which is a bit more. Now, Joe from New Cottage Poultry has got a website and I'll actually include that below. After looking on his website, I decided on day old female chicks. Now these are able to be identified as female because of the type of breed that they are that you can sex them at day old. And if any do turn out to be roosters in the end, he will take them back off of you and exchange it for another chicken. So I was quite pleased with that, just in case, because nothing is 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I've got all girls in this one. Now, we went and we had a look around. Now, this place was absolutely spotless. It really was great. Now, all the chickens had a fantastic area to manoeuvre about. The chicks were really well looked after. The bedding was pristine. The chicks looked all in fantastic health. The chicken sheds, where all the chickens seemed happy, there was no pecking, there was no fighting. Again, pristine condition. And the outdoor area where all the ducks, the geese, and even a turkey or two were really well spaced and they had everything that they needed. In fact, Joe's team was actually working on extending and building more coops. It was really good to see a really good business who really do care about their flocks. In fact, if you guys want anything for your poultry needs I really highly recommend them and I'll put their website actually in the description below because I was thoroughly impressed after checking out the female chicks that he had for offer there was a few different varieties there were skylines there were brown tails there were white sussexes they were morans there was some others as well, which I'll put here because it's escaped me at the moment. As Joe was showing us around the chicks and we were left to have a look to see what we wanted and what varieties we wanted, I'd actually decided I was going to go for eight chicks. Now, eight chicks, great, fantastic, good prices too. And then all of a sudden he offered us two extra chicks, which was great. But then that led it up to 10 chicks. Now, it wasn't me that said yes to 10 chicks, it was the husband. He answered quicker than I could answer. But to be honest, I probably would have done it too. So we chose two speckledy, three white Sussex, three Skylines and two Morans. And that took us up to the 10 chicks. Now they were fantastic, really good, healthy looking birds. So we managed to get them into a box and get them in the car and get them home. Now this brooder that we've got at home was really for about six to maybe eight chicks. It's an old dog cage that we've turned to draft free and added a heat lamp as well in there so they can keep nice and warm because at week olds they still need heat. They are not fully developed until about six, seven, eight weeks depending on the breed and depending on the temperature outside. When these get fully feathered, which will be around about the six week mark, maybe seven week mark, they'll be going out to their new coop because we don't have space to keep them indoors any longer. And with it coming up to summer, it won't be an issue. If it was winter, we would have to rethink things. 
but between the probably week three to week six or seven we're going to have to build a bigger brooder which will probably go in one of our sheds which will be heated insulated and they'll have a little bit more space to actually flap their wings a little bit before they go to the new coop now if you have been following you know i was really close to finishing my coop and in fact I was two sheets of wood away from finishing the coop because I've been working really hard over the last week and in fact I'd almost finished it by Sunday but now it's going to have to change because I'd actually made it for about six or so chickens now I need to make it a lot bigger because I've got to house these ten chickens now I'm going to need about 40 square feet of space for these chickens in a coop now they have got quite a large run I think it's around about five meters by about five meters which should be enough for them but also I'll be letting them out to free range in certain areas which I'll be netting off for them to be able to come out especially when I'm down there it won't be something that they'll be doing when I'm not there but when I'm down there for multiple hours they can come out and they can forage and go where they want within that area so now we have to plan a new coop and I think what we're going to do is put an extension on the back of the coop to make the floor space bigger but we're going to try and get that done over the next two weeks um, because before we know it we'll run out of time and the chickens will need to go outdoors. They really are a cute bunch of chickens. Chirpy, happy and really quite friendly and happy to pick up. Now we've left them alone for the first day because we don't want to overly stress them. It's quite hard going leaving the rest of the flock, ending up in a cardboard box and then ending up in somewhere new. We'll let them settle in and then we'll start handling them so they become better chickens in the long run. If you can get your chicken used to being handled, picked up, petted, walked around, it makes life a lot easier when you have to deal with any issues with your chickens. Now in the future I will need your help to name my chickens but I'll come to that in a later video. I think it could be a little bit of fun. But I thought I'd just show you the fact that we have got more chickens and the fact that chicken math is exceptionally real. You want to start off with just a few and you end up with a much larger flock than you anticipated. So long as you're happy to adjust your coop and your run areas accordingly to fit these chickens in and yes 10 chickens is a lot that's going to be an awful lot of eggs but i'm sure we will manage with friends and family but in the near future we'll be bringing you more videos on how the chicks are growing their new coop and any other ideas that we've got for those chickens thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video